Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I have for you a fun deco mesh wreath tutorial. I hope you like it. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I have gotten several requests to do a bee themed wreath, so this is what I came up with. So for this wreath, you're going to need one of the square wreath forms from Dollar Tree. If you can't find the square one, you can also use the round one to make this wreath. You're going to need four rolls of mesh. Now this is some fabric stripe mesh that I ordered online from Craft Outlet. So four rolls total of mesh. You do not have to make it a bee themed wreath. You can use whatever color mesh that you would like. You're also going to need three colors of ribbon with wire. So one is 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire and then my other two are only 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire. All three colors came from Sam's Club this spring. Next, you're going to want to take your 10 inch deco mesh and you're going to cut your mesh into strips at 22 inches. Cut both colors of your mesh at 22 inches. Now it will not take four complete rolls. You will have a little bit of your last two rolls left over. You're also going to need some pipe cleaners for this wreath and you'll want to cut your pipe cleaners in half. Take your mesh, have it curling toward the ceiling, roll each end a few times, then walk your fingers up the center, gather it together, and I just put a chip clip around mine so that I can do my second color. So let it curl toward the ceiling, roll each end a few times, walk your fingers to the middle until they meet, making a little ruffle or bow tie. Now put your second color on top of your first, and then we're going to take a pipe cleaner that we cut in half and I am going to go I'm going to be using that middle wire only so I'm going to thread my pipe cleaner under the wire and then I am going to take my little bundle or ruffles and put them right there on top of the wreath form and take that pipe cleaner and twist it around it and then I'm going to leave my pipe cleaners pointed toward the ceiling because I plan on adding some ribbon tails so that's why I'm doing it this way so that's why I'm going to have my pipe cleaners pointed up so I can add ribbon so roll each end a few times walk your fingers to the middle until they meet take a chip clip or a clothes pin put it around your first little ruffle take your second color same steps roll each end a few times then just walk your fingers in the middle until they meet and then you're going to stack your ruffles now I did mine the same pattern all the way around you can mix it up or do it however you would like I'm just giving you some ideas this is my first time making a square deco mesh wreath so I wasn't sure exactly how many ruffles and that type of thing I was going to make but it doesn't take as much mesh as you would think because as you keep adding ruffles, it gets harder to squeeze more in toward the end. Later on, I decided it was easier for me after I made my two ruffles to go ahead and wrap a pipe cleaner around them and have it pointed toward the ceiling and then take a second pipe cleaner and wrap around it to use it to attach to the wreath form. So I was really just using one pipe cleaner with each ruffle. So you just do whatever's the easiest for you.
I had to open my last two rolls to finish this wreath and I only made about four or five ruffles with those last two rolls so you do have quite a bit of mesh left over for another DIY. For the ribbon tails, I cut my ribbon at 12 inches, so I just used the 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire to do the ribbon tails. So I used two colors of ribbon, cut six strips of each color at 12 inches, and then you'll want to dovetail the ends. I did three bundles of ribbon tails on each side, so I just took and put the uh, ribbon tails in my pipe cleaner and then twisted the pipe cleaner around the ribbon tails. I wasn't sure exactly how many to use so that's why I did six total. So three on the left, three on the right. Then I did a huge bow on the top left and two smaller bows on the bottom plus I added a cute little gnome sign with the bee theme and a cute bumblebee. And also when you know that you're finished with your pipe cleaners you can trim them off shorter. It really wasn't necessary for me to have um, all my pipe cleaners pointed toward the ceiling because I only used six bundles of ribbon tails, but I didn't know that since this was my first time making it, so I didn't know how much ribbon that I would want to use and how big of a wreath it would actually be. So you can kind of just, with that information, just kind of modify if you want a lot of ribbon or less ribbon, so I hope that helps. And then here's how I did um, the two smaller bows for the bottom. When you get the bow the size you want, you're going to want to take a piece of floral wire, wrap it nice and tight around the center of your bow, leave your wires long, dovetail your ends. The reason you want to leave your wires long is because you're going to take those wires, thread them through your deco mesh, thread them through the wire frame, go to the back of your wreath, twist those wires, then cut them off short and fold them down. So that's why you um, want to leave the wires long and then here I'm just fluffing the loops of the bow and you'll want to use ribbon with wire because that way the loops will stand up and the bow just holds its shape better.
next we're tying an extra large bow for the top left of the wreath. So I cut nine strips of ribbon at 24 inches. And this is the 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire. So nine strips at 24 inches. Take one strip and you're going to fold it and make a loop, pinch it together. And my loop measures about seven inches. I probably should have done them about six inches, so I would recommend six inch loops instead of seven, but just try to make your loops the same size each time. Same steps, just make a loop, add it to your hand, take, make another, take another strip, make another loop, pinch it together, then just add it on top of the other loops until you have used all nine strips of ribbon. Now this is a big bow, so I did use a zip tie to secure this bow together, and then I just took a piece of floral wire and threaded it underneath the zip tie to hang it on my wreath. So here I'm just taking the zip tie, wrapping it just above my fingers. Make sure you get that zip tie pulled nice and tight. And then you're going to want to dovetail your ends and kind of fan them out and spread out the tails and then fluff the loops of your bow. And there's my little helper, Miss Willow Ray. And so now I'm going to take a piece of floral wire and I am just going to thread it underneath that zip tie. That way I can use the wire to attach the bow to my wreath. threaded the wires through the deco mesh, through the wire frame, then I just went to the back, gave the wires a few twists, then I cut them off short and folded them down, then I had to fluff my loops again. So I have a bow on the top left, two smaller ones on the bottom. So I put one on the left and one on the right. I tied the left one just like I did the one on the bottom right. And then I picked up this cute metal bee at Michael's and I ordered this sweet little gnome sign online from Craft Outlet. So I just added pipe cleaners to the back of them and then this is the way it looks with the bee and the little gnome attached. So now it's ready to put it on my door. In the comment section below you'll have to let me know what you think of this square wreath. Now remember you do not have to make it in the square shape. You can do the same steps and make it round. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate y'all so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. 
leave me a comment, share this video with your friends and family. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who always leave this sweetest and best and most positive comments on my wrist. Y'all are so sweet and I enjoy reading y'all's comments so much.